Jason's waiver wire pickup of the week. That's right. Waiver wire pickup of the week. Waiver I'm gonna, wire. I think I'm going to butcher this, honestly. Um, oh. Kadarius Tony? Kadarius Tony. It is Kadarius Tony. He is my waiver wire pickup of the week. Uh, dude absolutely balled out for the New York Giants this week. Um, putting up 13 targets and cashing them in for 10 catches, 189 yards. He also had a rushing attempt uh, for seven yards, was tackled at the two, so just missed a 30-point week, finishes with 24 and a half points and half point PPR scoring. Uh, is just an absolute freaking machine. Uh, Great route runner. Incredible. Just how he was able to get open and routinely make uh, digs just look silly. And the honestly, the rest of that defense, like I was routinely like he would catch the ball on like a simple out route, be surrounded by two guys somehow facing backwards, know where the empty space was, get there and be completely missed. And then somehow get past other people and get up. Like he, he was incredible. Um, so I do feel and, bad and, though. Go ahead. And and it, it it's not just a one week wonder either because the week no. before against New Orleans he had nine targets so him having thirteen targets this week um, with Sterling Shepard out and Galladay hurt and Derry Slayton out um, they're gonna have to throw to somebody and the game script fits for them to throw the ball. Yeah, I, honestly, one of the more amazing. Like maybe the most amazing aspect of his entire breakout though in week five, the dude only played 54% of snaps and he only ran 24 routes on 44 dropbacks and cashed in. He was targeted on more than 50% of his routes that he ran. Like, and part of that too might be Glennon, you know, if they're both on the scout team or, you know, yeah. run, getting the second team reps and Glennon's familiar with him, which, which would make a little bit of sense. Yeah. Um, he, had, he also, that rush attempt was a direct snap too, which is crazy. Um, what I also want to say is that there are the four, the, the four starters, Danny Jones, Saquon, um, uh, Kadarius Tony and Sterling Shepard, and then I guess also Galladay, the five starters have only played 17 snaps together so far this season. Just cr- that's just, not much. Well, just they've been so injured again this year, but yeah, that's like uh, it's like the 49ers offense, yeah, pretty much, but uh. I am just really excited um, because I think he's going to have a ton of opportunity, especially after Galladay hyperextended his knee. Um, 22 targets in the last two weeks. What do you, he's the obvious to me. He's the obvious. He's my, I like, I would rather if I'm out there spending fab and most of these guys, I think are kind of flex plays. Like there's no one guy that I'm going out and blowing all my fab on this week. There's no like season long or six plus week guy, but I like the upside of Kadarius Tony more than I like Devontae Booker or um, Daryl Williams or either of the Bears backups if they didn't get picked up. So I would spend more fab, I think, on Tony or I'd prioritize him first, especially in, if you're on a traditional waiver system. I'd rather mm-hmm. have Tony. Yeah. And and keep in mind, like if you're like, who the hell is is this guy that we're talking about? If if you are looking for him, his last name's Tony T-O-N-E-Y. Uh, first name is Kadarius, and he uh, was a first round pick for the Giants. So he's got the pedigree and all of a sudden you see him get the opportunity. So obviously Jamar Chase was the first wide receiver taken. Jalen Waddell was the second. Uh, Devonta Smith was the third for the Eagles. And then Kadarius Tony was the fourth wide receiver taken in the first round. So he's got the pedigree. He's got this crazy, he's crazy quick, crazy speed. Apparently he likes to punch people in the face and get ejected, which is maybe not so great, but um, no. provided he doesn't do that again, I do think he has good potential season long value. It doesn't like, yes, the, the Giants guaranteed Galladay $40 million. Uh, Sterling Shepard's always hurt. 
Evan Ingram has a tough time catching the ball. Uh, Darius Slayton's hurt. So, yeah, Kadarius Tony. I I think if you're hurting at wide receiver, that this is clearly the pickup of the week. And we always talk about it. Who are the best wide receivers? They're the ones with all the targets. If he's going to have 9, 13 targets the last two weeks, then he's probably going to be a wide receiver too the rest of the year if he's going to continue to get 10 targets a game. So how much you spend in Jason? 25? Easy. 20? Yeah, 20, 20, 25. And yeah. as, as we give advice to um, every week, part of our advice on fab is to not spend um, or bid rather uh, in multiples of five. So what we mean is don't end your bids on players in either five or zero, because that's kind of how most people put their bids in. Most of them honestly go with zeros, uh, but do an off number like a 13%, 14%. If you want to like go 10 and actually get the guy, um, I would personally go like 23%. I would easily go 20 to 25 if, and that's if I'm in a good position, if I'm really freaking desperate, ah, I would investigate maybe oh spending up a little bit more, but I wouldn't go any higher than really 30. So we're talking a few bucks. Yeah, right. Again, six catches, 78 yards two weeks ago, 10 for 189. Still hasn't gotten in the end zone yet, but uh, got to think, it, think it's coming at some point. Yeah, next week, uh, home against the Rams, which isn't the Not greatest. Great. Um, but I mean, if he's getting 15 targets, I don't, I just don't know how much it matters. He's going to have the volume and then home against yep. Carolina, which isn't great at Kansas city home against Las Vegas and then the buy. So a couple of giants players on the free agency wire here. I said my 20 to 25%. How much are you spending? Um, honestly, I don't think I would go over 15. Um, just cause I think you can still get him for kind of cheap because people don't know who he is. That's um, probably fair. And they're saying, oh my God, Shepard's going to come back soon and Slayton's going to yeah. come back soon. Yeah. And I, I, I think you can, somebody that's that little rostered now, right? The only danger is that somebody's going to sort by, oh, who's the wide receivers available and sort by the score for the last week and then he'll pop up there. Um, but even still, I, I think, I don't think you need to spend more than 15 to get him um, in, in most leagues. I, I would be surprised. Does, um, does Ian Rappaport already stating that Galladay is expected to miss week six change that for you at all? No, because he's always hurt. Okay. Okay. 